Hello, everybody. I don't know who's on here now. This is, uh, I'm Dr. Joe Gilgore, president of Mineral Area College, and this is our second Facebook Live event for students to ask questions. We did get a few questions in email, so I appreciate that. Hopefully, uh, you know, more people will join as we go, and then this obviously will be available to watch at a future time. But I wanted to update you on just a couple of things uh, that have happened. We are still closed uh, for the duration of the semester and as well as uh, closed for uh, not only for classes, those are all online for the duration of the semester, but also closed for traffic. So students and the public uh, cannot come to campus. Uh, as of right now, we're gonna say till May 15th. It's possible that time could be extended depending on circumstances, but right now, that's when our semester was supposed to end anyway. That's when our physical semester, and that's when the online classes will officially end. So we wanna make sure that uh, we're covering that time with employees working from home and uh, students taking online classes. As far as summer goes, we have also made the decision that summer classes will all be online. And so if you have a summer class that you are enrolled in right now that is on ground in a classroom, that class will most likely be transitioned to an online course again. And we do apologize for that. I know many of you, again, did not sign up for online courses and that's not necessarily the route you wanted to be on. Uh, but unfortunately right now that's just the environment we're in and it's really it's actually very difficult to find an on-ground class uh, right now so we're going to leave lots of options open for you and then hopefully by the fall semester we are back on ground uh, operating as normal as possible if you want to call it that so right now throughout the summer to repeat all classes are online and all events for the summer have been canceled through august 4th so that would include any kind of um, uh, camps, summer camps, athletic camps. Um, a, we have a summer nursing pinning that has been canceled as well as our college for kids. So unfortunately those are events that we are not able to have uh, with the latest data showing that the peak of the coronavirus in Missouri will be is estimated to be around Mar or May 18th. We want to make sure that we're giving plenty of time for uh, recovery and uh, not to start it back up again and, and, and spread the virus anywhere. As of this time, we still have no confirmed cases of uh, anybody at Mineral Area College. Of course, there's not very many people here uh, with students off, but we do ask that if you are a Mineral Area College student and you do test positive for the coronavirus, that you please let us know. Um, it's important that we let your classmates and uh, your maybe your fellow residents in College Park or whatever it is, we make sure they know as well so they can be on the lookout for symptoms or get tested themselves. So please communicate that with us if you are a Mineral Area College student and have tested positive for the coronavirus. Um, there was a, a, a scare, I think, last week. Some people were asking about a student that had tested positive and posted that on Facebook. Um, that is a former student that does not attend here and hasn't for a year. And so uh, that is true that that student uh, tested positive, but they are no longer even in the area uh, at this time. So, uh, but please let us know those things. If you see those things, if you if you feel that you, uh, if you, if you test positive, please let us know. Uh, some other updates that we have is that uh, uh, the cards orientation, if you're a new student and you see this or you're watching this now and you are signed up for cards orientation, those are still gonna happen. They're just gonna happen online in a little different format, of course, not on campus, unfortunately, as we move forward. Um, so we are, uh, our admissions team is making calls right now to get students enrolled in those cards orientation program. Also talk to your advisor uh, or your admissions representative. If you have not been signed up for a cards orientation, but you're a new student, then you need to get signed up. So please communicate with those people and they can help you do that. Um, we'd also want to mention that the tutoring center the, is still available. So the learning center, and uh, I'm going to say some email addresses in here and they are going to come up in the comments. So if you uh, didn't get a chance to write those down as I say them, please check the comments a little later and those will be on there. But the first one is the Learning Center. It's learningcenter at mineralarea.edu. And that's if you need assistance with tutoring, if maybe you're struggling, uh, not only if maybe if you're used to online classes, but you aren't used to not having support at your fingertips on campus. Um, so these people are still available online to help you with that. Um, as well as if you're an online student but have never taken an online course before, this could be a whole new world for you and you may need some assistance with your classes. So we encourage you to talk to a tutor, talk to your instructor, ask for help. Don't be afraid to ask for help. Everybody understands um, what is going on 
right now with that. And so we want to make sure that you can you can ask for help through learningcenter at mineralarea.edu. And again, that'll come up in the comments um, shortly. Uh, as far as College Park goes, if you live on campus, uh, College Park is still open for current residents with food service provided. Uh, our, our public safety uh, department is monitoring as far as who is coming and going from College Park. Uh, we are uh, limiting and, and prohibiting visitors at this time. So really College Park is only open for those who uh, actually do live there. And so uh, anybody returning there may be asked uh, their name so they can check the list to make sure they're, they're good. But no guests at this time, of course, as we limit uh, the traffic coming through campus and different people coming on, on campus. Uh, and I mentioned summer classes being all online now. Well, enrollment is also open, so I encourage you to go ahead and do that while you can, summer and fall enrollment. You can go ahead and lock in classes that are there. Uh, obviously, summer, all classes are going to be online, so uh, just remember that. But fall, right now, as of now, the plan is that classes are going to be on ground. And so that decision would come later as we assess the uh, situation with the pandemic. But we're hopeful that uh, in August we're back um, on campus having classes on ground. But go ahead and get registered now. Um, get your FAFSA in. If you have not completed your FAFSA for uh, the, the, the fall semester, please go ahead and get that in because now is the time to do that as you uh, prepare for your next enrollment. And also we know that uh, you know if you uh, have a disability or you are in need of assistance, then we ask, ask that you contact our access office um, as well. Even though you're online, those services are still provided for you and Honestly, there may be uh, some things that you haven't talked to the access office because you were on ground, and now that you're online, you may need more assistance. That's okay, that is completely fine. So we ask that you contact Lisa Leftridge, and her email address is lleftridge at mineralarea.edu. And again, that will be in the comments section uh, moving forward. So if you didn't catch that from me, you can get it in the comments section if you need. Uh, access and disability accommodations. Please don't hesitate to, to check in with, with uh, Lisa and, and get assistance there. We also want to make sure you're aware of career planning and placement. Those appointments can still happen. Many of you may have stopped in our career planning office um, and obviously you can't do that now but those people are still available to help you. So that is career services at mineralarea.edu and so please uh, check on that. Uh, if you need assistance, please communicate with them and ask. They can set up virtual appointments. You can talk through email or the phone, but either way, you can get assistance there. As many of you are looking forward to graduation uh, this spring, you want to make sure you're ready for what's coming next in your career as you move forward. So speaking of graduation, we have had a question about how to get your cap and gown if you did order one uh, because the uh, campus is closed. Well, uh, as of right now, you know, like I said, we're planning on being closed until May 15th. After that time, of course, there may be an opportunity to come pick up your cap and gown if the campus is reopened. But uh, if that doesn't happen, we will be mailing those out with your diploma cover, uh, with your diploma as, uh, as we would in June after you graduate. And so congratulations to all of our graduates. I know this is not the scenario you thought you'd be in the semester you graduated from college. Uh, but uh, you will still graduate if you are on pace to do that and you meet all the requirements, even without a commencement. As we've uh, announced before, commencement has been canceled for the spring, but you will still graduate as long as you meet all the requirements and you will receive your diploma in the mail in June as you normally would. Uh, and again, with your cap and gown if you ordered one of those too. So uh, another question that we got is about uh, spring 2020 grades being calculated the same. Uh, this student, uh, Bonnie, thanks Bonnie for your question, uh, mentioned that some other colleges are using a pass, no pass, or pass fail formula for their classes. Um, we are not going that route right now. We are looking at um, options for uh, students to, to take a withdrawal for a crisis or other situations, but we ask that you work with your instructor as best you can to get the support that you need. We're very far into the semester right now, and any kind of withdrawal would mean you'd have to retake the class, and so we really, uh, that's that's obviously not um, not the best situation. Even if financial aid covers the cost of the class, which which is likely to happen, uh, you would still have to retake it. And so, um, you know, you're, you're very far into the semester right now. And so, I would encourage you to work with your instructors, work with the learning center and other support services we have to finish your classes successfully, so that you can move on to the next step uh, in the next semester or term. <clears throat> uh, other question that we had is about. Uh, nursing students, we did have a question about clinical fees for those of you that aren't nursing students. 
Uh, you may not know this, but nurses, uh, nursing students pay a clinical fee because they are in hospitals doing clinicals. And uh, that somebody asked if that was going to be refunded because there are no clinicals. Um, and the, the answer is no, not at this time, because we have software that allows for virtual uh, clinical work. And though it's not as good as being in the hospital, we, we can all agree on that. It does meet the requirements, and we're able to get you the requirements for the class. So you can still be successful, still graduate with those uh, those credentials as you as you can. And many of our students who were in clinicals were already in clinicals at the time uh, that the pandemic hit. And so there's already some experience there, but the virtual software that's been purchased, that clinical fee has went towards plant paying for that. So you can still meet the requirements of the program as you move forward. Um, all right, so the other, uh, looks like that's all the questions that were submitted. The question that is on our chat right now is about internship classes and and classes requiring a on campus uh, on campus classes requiring for the degree. We are still working on that and trying to make uh, that happen as best we can. We really don't want anyone to not graduate on time because of that. So as far as internship goes, where that internship would be, we're are, we're trying to work with those areas to make sure that uh, we can still meet those needs and get accommodations uh, for those students as we move forward. Um, and that is really all the questions that I have so far. So I would ask that you put any other questions in the chat if you have any at this time. Um, but uh, otherwise, that is the newest update we have. We do hope to get, like I said, back to things, things getting back to normal uh, in August. Uh, everybody's struggling with this. We do appreciate, again, all of you students and your uh, patience and your cooperation as we move forward in this. Obviously, many things are out of our control and uh, out of any college's control. You see this is happening nationwide. Very few colleges are operating uh, on-ground classes right now. In fact, I can really only think of one that I know of. Uh, but nearly everyone is going online uh, if their area has been had any kind of contact with the coronavirus or uh, they've just chosen to do this precaution. So that's what we are too, and, and we're, we're right in sync with any other college in Missouri. And so, But we want you to know that we're still here for you, so if there are things that you need uh, it may not be delivered in the most traditional sense, of course, but we can uh, definitely help you as we move forward uh, with whatever you do. We, we want to make sure you're still on pace to meet your educational goals, uh, like I've said before, even though the path to those goals may look a little different. And if it turns out things in your life are just, are just too crazy right now and you need, um, you need to start over a semester or a class, we do have that option for you through the withdrawal process. Um, but we want that to be used as a last resort. Like we said, you started this journey for a reason. You set a goal of when you were going to be finished uh, for a reason and what matters for you. And so uh, by taking time off, of course, that delays that goal. And statistically speaking, students that take time off from college have a much lower rate of coming back to college. And so uh, those students typically never finish their degrees, um, majority of them. So we want to make sure that you keep on pace and we're still here to support you. Please let us know what we can do to help. There are other videos on the Mineral Area College uh, Facebook page, our admissions team. There's financial aid questions. Please don't hesitate. If you're not seeing the answer to your question that you have, just post it on the on the Facebook page, and, and we will get an answer to you um, as you uh, as you have those questions come up. Because we want to make sure we're being uh, as helpful as possible under the circumstances. Of course, we'd much rather see you in person. This campus, uh, I'm in my office right now, and there are a few people on campus right now. But for the most part, uh, there there is not anybody here. And so uh, walking around campus, it is quiet and we miss you. And we really can't wait till our students get back on campus and uh, and really, uh, you know, it's vibrant again. And, and we have activities and, and plays and, and music performances and art shows and, and sports uh, events and, and all this. We just, we're really excited to get back on track as we know all of you are too. So please keep us in, in mind if you need anything just don't hesitate to ask. All right, so on that, I want to say thank you for joining today. If you were able to join live, that's great. If you're watching it later, um, thank you for doing so. If you have any questions, please, again, don't hesitate to ask. Those email addresses I mentioned will come up in the comments, and so uh, be on the lookout for those. But otherwise, thank you all very much, and uh, please stay safe out there. Stay well. Wash your hands. Social distancing. Do everything that's required, and we're going to get through this together, and we'll come back better and stronger than ever. Thanks everybody, stay well.